Welcome to the stream. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying. Okay. Just looking at where I am in this. Oh, yeah, okay. Alright. I know where I am. You know what? Thankfully, I have cold food again. Cold resist food, that is. I was worried that I'd have to take a massive detour, but I think we're okay. Confirming. <laughs> you hope that I will change the course of dreams. Okay. Well, we'll see. I guess just hope that I don't get attacked by 50 wolves or something. There'll be a lot of shrines today, so expect beeping. Because there's, I think, five or six. That are just going to be pretty much back to back, because they're kind of in a straight line. Sort of. Okay. I mean, I already, I already see a bunch of them. I'll do this first since there's an updraft that'll let me get back up easily. Wait, what? Oh no, there's rain here. Why is there rain here? This is a- this is a mountain with snow. That shouldn't be allowed. Oh no, this is an area where it overlaps. the end of this. I remember there being stuff along these, uh, I don't even know what you call them, like walkways.
Hmm. Thought that was gonna get me. Kind of shocked that how many areas in this game have a name, a special name, and then they have nothing there. Like, oh no, there's okay, there's something directly on the label. This is a poor example, but there are others where it's just oh, it has a label, it has it has a name, it's been named, and then there's nothing there. Wait... Why do I have a vague recollection of this? This seems familiar. Is this one a pain? Why do I... Uh, I think this one is a pain to get on top of this. Because it's on low ground. Okay, it's all the way over there. But I have to get it from low ground. I think I remember this one. Yep. <laughs> it's okay. Trying to think how I got this up. It may have been a balloon, because I don't think you can throw it up. Or walk up it for that matter. Yeah, that. Oh, okay. I just overcomplicate it the first time? Whatever. I'm surprised that worked. Okay, 790. I know that there's a, a surprising amount of them along this area. No, 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 no. Check the edge of that.
Can't tell what's down there. I guess before I drop, because there's a hole. Wait. Yes. I just went back to sleep. Oh. I doubt there's anything else, but I'll, I'll look for good measure. Eventually it'll just say, not nah, can't go any further. I wouldn't be surprised if it does it here. Should be hitting a brick wall now. Oh, you would think what? This is surely the yeah. There it is. Okay. I'm going to show the physical line of this as well. That draw it. Yeah, it did. All right. At least they're not sadistic. If it were me, I would totally put one on the edge of the map. This is a quest. Because it's missing its sword and then someone's down here. Oh shit. I forgot. I think there's one on the actual sword. Or the hands. Okay, this has really awkward geometry. Yep. 
did I not remember correctly? Either way, take a photo of it. Because I know there's a... <laughs> ah! <laughs> photo bombed by that Octorok. Either way, I know that the, there is a quest involving taking a picture of the sword for it. I just can't remember if the statue was part of that. Aha. Uh -huh. There's one over there. One. Uh. Oh shit. No, it's fine. It's fine. Is it? Shit. <laughs> I guess walk along here until I find a spot that's better. the recovery. Yeah, screw it. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> 
This is honestly just so I don't come back here later. I don't believe there's anything up here. I think it's just the one Korok. down to. I guess this one first. surprised there wasn't anything there. Oh wait, it's not here? Ninety one. I'm going to go back. I mean, this is just gonna lead back to where I was. Alright, let's just drop. Okay. I don't need cold resist from below here.
I keep going straight, there's one. I mean, what's the merit of? Okay, I see. I can't continue. Okay. Just looking at the breakdown of it. There's no real clean way to do this. Yeah, so this is as far as I can go over here. Wait, did I? Oh, shit, I think I must have. I think I can get back up there, it's just... I didn't realize I dropped down so low. Much like the other mountains, this is probably the most boring part. Just doing these side parts. But at least in this one, there's something here. I, w I would think there's at least 15. I'd be surprised if I didn't get to 800 along these cliffs. Is, is that? Hmm, okay. I don't see a hole I can go into.
You know what, since I'm down here, do I have movement speed? Since I don't have to worry about cold. I probably don't. Oh no, I do. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. I'll make this go a little quicker. so much meat. It'd be fun if I had the same amount of meat as Koroks. down. I'll run along here. Because I think there's stuff sort of halfway in between these. That other one didn't get in that radius. I know one of these has one. Mind me to swing past. <laughs> I 
<laughs> really? Isn't that... Okay, I was gonna say, it's like sunrise, isn't it? It's, it's above, it's above. Yeah. That's not important. should be. Surprised they ran away from me. I doubt there's anything on this one. I'll leave the second half for later. I just want to get this half done first. Yeah, I'm pretty much there. I know this isn't the most exciting thing, so that's why I'm going to break it up in two. I'll do this half, and then there's a few shrines on the mountaintop that I'll just go get. So then it's not just this for, like, two hours. Is it still chasing me? Yeah, it is. Alright. I was going to be lazy, but you're mate now. 
No. <laughs> I should just get them at every opportunity when they appear. It's just not worth it. The other wolf got the right idea. Okay, I got one more movement speed. ever run up this hill normally. <laughs> it just seems like a massive waste of time. There's just these boulders and everything and traps. You see them from a distance. Why would you run up there when this looks perfectly climbable? out? I guess so. I think if I'm gonna go back up, this is probably the easiest way to get back up, up this way.
Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's still sneaking about. Uh, sure. That's fine. There's anything there. I think that's that's it for this side. this here uh, I can't tell if that's anything I think as long as I get close enough to it it should be okay because if there is something there, about halfway up, the Korok mask is going to go off. Ah, so slow. It's gonna work this time. No. No. Shit. <laughs> I mean, if there was something up there, I might be able to get up this way. I feel like the mask would have gone off. But uh what what is it even pointing to? <laughs> Sometimes the map doesn't Okay. Well apparently I'm standing in a uh... Huh. just doesn't match up sometimes. Okay, sure. That's good enough. Uh, that's probably unnecessary here. Maybe along here.
Ah, oh, well, yeah, by the time I got down there. That's fine. I got a lot of dragon pieces. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> I knocked it into myself. Ugh. I really wish they wouldn't do that. Uh-oh. How far back is this going to put me? Ugh. Oh, that's not good. That's kind of annoying. Why is the autosave so weird? Okay, how am I gonna do this? How much was that? It was like 10, 15 minutes. Like, what do you mean it didn't autosave? Okay. I'm just going to have to do this loosely because there's no way I'm going over it all again. just going to have to remember the fact that these cliffs are covered. I was pretty much done. So I'll just do it loosely. I can't believe I just did that. Do I still- yeah, I still have my movement speed food now, though. Okay, quickly run across it. I'll just do an S-shape and that should be enough to cover me. It doesn't have to be the whole thing. What- what trash. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's probably the most I've seen it erase in terms of progress. So I'm just going to make it look like I went over the spots, but I won't go over the spots. I'll just do... A high ground glide. Mm. 
I just can't believe it wouldn't think, hmm, he's collected at least 10 pieces of meat. Maybe we should save the game. He's acquired quite a few items. Okay, let's just not get too bogged down on it. I just need to cover the spots that I went back for. Like here, and then come back this way. Uh, I mean, that should be good enough. Dude. I'll just make a mental note of it. It just sucks because it looks like I, I haven't covered a lot of terrain. And I know that's not the case. Oh, there's the dickhead bat that killed me. save it before it fucks me again. Oh, this game can be a real dick with the enemy spawns. I'm temporarily going here. Just to get them off my back. At this point, I may as well walk along here. Okay, turning around. Yeah, that should be enough to prevent me from coming back here. Congrats.
up this off. Wasn't. Dude, <laughs> get up there. Ah, oh, it's the shield. Nothing to see here. Well, this has been, uh, like, 20 minutes of nothing. But okay, I've made it back up this hill. So now I'm gonna go do the, the mountain shrines. Or at least a couple of them. I just realized there's another way I can get up higher, quicker. That's why I came back this way. Plus, I need to build this in again. Because we'll see the railing later. I'm like, ah, oh, there's stuff along the railing. There isn't. At least not here. But there's an updraft at the end of this. That leads you pretty high up, so...
stop tricking me with the dragon. And now it's just somewhat unattainable. Okay. Here we go. That's pretty much the whole way up. got worried there for a sec. I was like, wait, what? That's cool. I got a lot of food. Okay, next one. Luminous stone. back here. Alright, let me look at this. This is going down... Yeah, gonna go down this slope. Wait, wait hang on. E no. Yes? No? Hang on. How does this work? I think there's a... S it stops more or less somewhere there. But there's a shrine down there. I know that much. Way. Okay. Here we go. Oh shit. Go. Go. <laughs> it's okay. As long as I stick to this course. Pass probably has one. Let's get under for now. Ooh, careful, 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 careful. Don't want to ruin the shield. What is this? Did they what? Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 
Oh, come on. The game did the thing where the enemies were invisible when I got there. So they were all there to begin with. It's just... It took a good few seconds for it to go. Oh, yeah, no, there's something here. Wait, where am I? Oh, this... Oh. Huh. It saved directly on top of where I died. What? The, what the... Again! Okay, don't go this way. That's 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 the arena for the fight. We don't want to go there. If we do that, then Yeagers are going to be on my ass like 24-7. We will have to do this eventually, but not yet. Okay, yeah, okay, so the, this is the edge of the map, effectively. I do find it funny that you can just bypass the whole base and just <laughs> come up this way. Anyway. Okay. We're heading up this way now. Where's that shrine I saw down here? Surprise. Thought there'd be something here. There's a chest. Okay, what is this? Ah. <laughs> I'm good. What was this shrine I saw? I saw something down here. Oh. What if it was this one? There has to be something along here, because I was hearing the beeping. It might be the next one. But there was beeping when I was up there. Wow, that's a lot of firewood. Oh no, they spit water. Away. Keep heading in that direction.
Nothing to see here, just go about your business and just passing by. See what this is. Okay, I can't go in there. And even if I drop the rocks, it's not gonna kill them. Even with all those explosions. What am I looking at here? See how little that does? It's just, ugh. I don't, don't want to reiterate it, but it's just not worth it. Oh, shit. to actually deal with this one. <laughs> this just looks like a base and nothing else. I should go fight the lion also then this VOD. I mean this particular section is late is later not that boring. I mean I kinda have to do it to to ensure the golden lionel. I mean the lionel is, is on the summit, so I've, I've just been walking around for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Korok have, uh, have not been appearing. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What is this? I mean, I don't have to do the talus to get in there. Oh, it's just a wall. It's nothing. Okay, I know where I am. <gasps> These are all just enemies, they're not... They're not Koroks. Stop! This game and its style creatures. 
No, I, I don't want to target. I just want to... Oh shit, this is not good. I just wanted to leap away. Apparently that's not allowed. What is chasing me right now? I don't... Why? Why is that battle music? things are so annoying. <laughs> it's just... Leave me alone. I can't go two minutes without them appearing out of nowhere. them appear again as I get to the chest. For real? Yeah. Oh, this is no. Oh no. They're riding bears. Challenge the player! Have an enemy spawn every two minutes. Otherwise, it's not challenging. Heaven forbid you can explore without being interrupted. <laughs> by things that die in one hit anyway.
They don't hear the Korok sound, not interested. Oh shit, there's a high ground spot here. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, I see. That's the only other high ground spot I haven't visited. Maybe this radar was pointing to the stuff in the valley. It's possible, because you just have to face a certain direction and it'll beep. It's possible that maybe there isn't one here. this game sometimes. Sometimes the sliding just does not make any sense. Even if it looks like a safe spot, it's just like, nah, what do you mean? It's slippery. Link can't stand here, despite it looking like there's perfectly fine footing there. <laughs> well, at least it can't rain here. Like, look at that. You could, you could totally get footing there. Particularly that spot at the top. I don't get why he's slipping. Is this where I was trying to go? Yes. Okay.
thought that one was about to attack me. I mean, if nothing else, it's stocking up my arrows, so it's not a complete waste, it's just not contributing to the core-up count. Like what, I think I've... Uh, yeah, I have a hundred and... over a hundred electric arrows now. I had thirty. Before starting this, so... Or maybe... it definitely wasn't a hundred, it was... Anywhere between 30 and 50, it was not that much. So this has been worthwhile. that thing. Eh. It's fine. I mean, I know it wants me to get close to the edge. and cruise by. There we go. Nice. Okay. I've got to drop down now. Yeah, unfortunately, this, this wasn't much better than what I was doing earlier. Okay, well, I see a Korok over there. Finally. fine, hopefully.
That was, uh... Ugh. Like 20 minutes without finding one. I'm very disappointed in this area. I think the drought is over. Is there anything? Ah, see, there's like a whole ordeal here to the side as well. that they can see me that far away on that stupid bear. Get off that bear. Is this bear still coming for me? It might, it might be. Ugh. Why? Shit. Not good. Okay, get rid of that. Look, there's meat there. There's meat. Have that meat instead. Excuse me, did I just create a... <laughs> I created a bear. That bear is still after me, but then... Oh, wait, no. That's fine. Okay. I thought I created another bear. Yeah, I'm not messing with that. Stick to high ground. over the edge. Shit, yeah, no. Really? <laughs> I didn't think there'd be anything here. I guess let's do this high ground-ish area. Can I climb back up here? I think I can. 
Yeah, I should be able to. I guess you can't see this part. Because underneath here is the Yiga base, so... I mean, this is why this is empty. And then here it should be the... the arena. I'm surprised there was one up there. I thought there wasn't anything in this upper arena area. Good enough. these dickhead bats, I hate them. <laughs> How far back is it going to put me? It won't be that far. There was a Korok earlier. <laughs> it's the second time these arsehole bats have caused me to lose, like, map coverage. have movement speed, so let's just quickly. Beep. When I do this lap, I'm going to save it. <laughs> I don't want to lose it again. I think I need to get into the habit. See electric case, save the game.
Oh yeah, right. Should be okay. Link. I just need to get up here and then get down. Quickly. Oh, temperature wise is actually fine here. Yeah. Okay. Was that thing running for me the whole time, or is it gonna howl? No, it's running for me. Alright. Ugh. I'm saving the moment when I get back up. Okay. Just in case those keys show up again. Hey, uh, this is gonna be called. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Speed buff was over anyway. Stopped raining. 
It's just, it looks like it's one of these areas that can have both rain and snow. I don't want to climb down and not be able to climb back up. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Nice, okay. what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> this game is such an ass. Alright. Gee, rain in a desert. At the outskirts of a mountain. Stop. There shouldn't be rain here. Stop. It's a desert and we're right next to the snow. Stop. This should not be a thing. go down there. Especially if it has rain at the moment. I hear the mystical dragon, but it's not going to help. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I just... I'm so tired of the styles just appearing the moment you land, like... It's almost like they're on a timer. Well, at least this wasn't that far back. Huck, huck, huck. No. 
Wait, was this always here? Oh, well. Go away. Yeah, more styles, yeah. Yep. Defeat one enemy, immediately spawn another. Player needs a challenge. It's been six whole seconds since the last enemy. Watch it happen again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bats too. Yeah, nice. At least these ones don't scare me if they hit me. There's another one. Okay, we've got Octos here. Oh, there's two foxes hanging out. Is that... No, that's for real. Wow, those things are still chasing me. Seven ninety-eight. Skeletons? Well, it's almost every enemy. Any skeletons? No? This has become a massive land search. I'm so sorry. I didn't think that everywhere I looked was not going to have... Wait, what am I looking at here? What? I got... Ugh, I'll just get it on the way back. It's okay. I'm not going to drop any further down. Maybe, yeah. Let's see. There's probably a reason I didn't go there, and if I was to 
guess it was probably because of the bears. That's that's the edge there, so there's no point going any further. You can use this edge to like navigate to the very back shrine. Which I might do. Just cause the Gerudo Valley and navigation suck. <laughs> cause the Divine Beast and the radar blocking ability. So if nothing else, I'll use this spot to get there. What's the best way back up? That might be a good spot, though. <laughs> I mean, even if I go across the gap, it's not exactly bad. Nah. Restart. Okay, nothing to see here. Just go about your business. Uh oh. Hopefully this has the speed to go through. Okay, good, 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 good. I did notice that. That's a fake. Wee. 
Well, that was a mistake. Got it. Man. That was close. That would be why I didn't go there. Okay, save. Just so I don't lose map coverage in case they do hit me. Oh. That one shouldn't be fatal because it's cold. I just want to get the map covered so then I don't think of coming back here. That should be good enough. Okay, and now... Ugh, that low ground part that I just didn't want to do, but hopefully it stopped raining. Here. Is this going to change climate? It seems fine. to the yet. That's cool. Guess I'll just go along the whole thing. But there's a spot up there that I did not walk all the way to the edge, and there could very well be one there. Beyond this point, there's nothing. I already know that. Yep. Like, yeah, this is the edge of the map. Oh, there's, there is a shrine down there, but... Later. That's pretty much going to be the way that I get to some of the shrines in this area, is just... Because I know... There's one... Here, and there's one... Somewhere here. I don't need radar, just walk in a straight line. Before it goes all fuzzy, and then I should be able to find them. And then I just walk in a stra straight line back. Because I think those are the only ones that are sort of 
away from the camp that you can't uh, see. Well, this was disappointing. Do I have to go any further? Uh, mm, uh, uh, <laughs> All right. It's just down here. Yep, climate change. Okay, uh, cool sword. At least I can run up this one. No! Oh, don't you dare. I'm frightened because it can rain here. Why? <laughs> Why is it doing that? There should be no reason. I wasn't out of stamina. Okay. Swap back to the warm. And just climb up here. But I mean, there's nothing there. <laughs> there's nothing here. I don't. <sighs> I hate it. I hate it sometimes. Now, the interesting thing about fighting the Lionel up here... I think with this cold re resist I should be okay, but... I've had times where I have to... Hold on to the fire blade, and then the moment I do... The, the dodge, swap to a weapon that I damage with, and then swap back to the fire blade. 
I've had to do that sort of juggling before. I don't think I have to do it here. Yeah, so here, why didn't I go here? What I expected, but if I didn't do it, I would have looked at this later and come back here for no reason. what that is. It's like a speck. That's what that is. I'm good. Don't throw rock at me, please. Sir, thank you. I'm but a traveler. It's okay, it's shouldn't reach. Oh, stop raining! It's- we're in the mountains, stop it. There's a desert behind me, stop it. It rained for like two seconds just to fuck me over. <laughs> the snow above and the desert below, stop it, no rain. Triple kill. I can't believe it did that to me. Save it before I die. Just cause it's just, it's just cause it's a spear. <laughs> See ya. Okay. 
this... I'd say that's clear. Now... I'm gonna go... Yeah, see, I have to do this side now. So, like... Go back to the shrine, climb up... And then go off this edge here. Go around... Yeah, okay. Well, we're getting to the other tower, I think, today. Oh, is that it? Hang on. What was left here? I mean, there's a little pocket here, but I like to just grip that up with the Gerudo Valley. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry this is this has been, uh... This. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. I don't know. It looks like all the shrines are in the way of the valley. It's not like I haven't found Korok or anything, it's just, that's I feel... ...disappointed in the density. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh shit. That was close. Not allowed to go one minute without an enemy spawn. Challenge the player. It's not master mode unless the player is being harassed every 15 seconds. So I'm here. Alright. Just for good measure, I'm gonna head across here. <laughs> this is more just to show that I've, I've been here. And nothing else.
I may have to go. Hang on, there's a way to do it. Damn it! I was gonna try to walk along it. But game was like, no, no, you slide now. That to me looks like you get footing on it. Okay. Stop focusing me. All right. Uh, okay, so now I need to go... Hang on. Oh, this is why I didn't go this way. Okay. Makes sense. I might just run through it, because I will probably make this mistake again. Dun 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 dun! safely drop down there. Shit. Okay, save. Okay, so I, I messed this up. <laughs> yep. This is why we save. This is why we save. 
Can't predict trajectory. This is why we save. Seven ninety nine. I can get number. Yeah, I can get number uh, eight hundred. It's just over here. I'm gonna have to come down here anyway, so it's just just do it. So, it would appear there's gonna be roughly a hundred to look for in the Gerudo area. Whoa, 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 that's a lot for one, one area. But we'll see. Maybe it'll be fine. Something trying to eat me? Yeah. I'm surprised you can't use stasis on wild animals. That is weird. Shit, it's not here. Where is it? Hey, hey, Colrin. Good morning. How's it going? No, wait, it is. It is. It is. Okay. Eight hundred. A hundred of these things remain. 
That's Monday. <laughs> oh, man. I wish more people have seen Office Space. It's just a character in that show. The guy hates his job. And there's some lady there that's just like, This looks like someone's got a case of the Mondays. And he just has that sentence repeated to him. He just, he just hates everyone. Not gonna lie, it's been kind of boring. <laughs> this mountain area has been not very rewarding. We all start out like SpongeBob and turn into Squidwards. I don't think I was ever that. Ex I mean, even in my dream job, I'm still like somewhat sardonic. Excuse me, is this called... Yeah, it's called Dig Dog. That's, it just comes from dealing with people. It's just... Sometimes people be the worst. been running around these mountains this whole time. I mean, it's possible there could be one here as well. That's why you hate answering phones at work. Yeah, I can't imagine how annoying that would be. I haven't had to do that in a long time. Oh, what? Wait. Look first before dropping. Okay. You're not supposed to, it's not your job. Oh. One of those, huh? Because your past experience in customer service, they thought you would help out when needed. For free! Right? They're not gonna pay you extra, are they? Yeah. I mean, that stuff is like, it's fine if it's a two way street, if, like, for example, you need something and it's not an issue for you to, you know, get what you're looking for. But if it's a case of just, uh, like when you want something, they question it, then, yeah. Oh, 
No, I love that that stuff is always brought under the category of, like, showing initiative. It's like, no, it's me getting paid to do something that isn't my job. Oh, wait, no, I'm not getting paid. Never mind. They're very flexible and let you leave and come back and make the time. And yeah, that's fine then. I think if the the people there are nice and they're flexible, then that sort of stuff is, is minor. Can be overlooked to some degree. But you know, ideally If it's one of those things that's constantly being made your responsibility, it's one of those things that should definitely get paid for. If it's one of those things where it's like, oh, maybe, and this is an arbitrary line, but like once a month or less than that, yeah, it's minor. One of the CS people left, so they're short-handed and they look to you to help. Yeah. That's, uh... I mean, look, if, they, if they've been nice, it's one of those things where, I mean, you can help them out to a certain point. But if they haven't replaced said person, it's kind of, well... One easy way to get out of it is just, you know, say that it's making your job stressful, quite frankly. That it's an extra level of responsibility. Okay, there's one. But it's on, I mean, it's technically on the Gerudo side of the map, but I'm not going to be nitpicky about it. They're looking for someone, but they can't get people to stay. There's always someone leaving. That's never a good sign. Look, bad employee retention. There might be a reason why. It's only for customer service. I mean, true, but... I guess if it's only applicable to that area, it's fine. It's alright, it's like, like that in most jobs. Especially in the world that I'm in, like... Employers want everything. Like, oh, you need to know how to program, but you also need to know how to do design. You need... To, if you're a designer, you must know how to program. It's like, what? No. You just want someone to do everything. You have to be able to put up with people getting mad at you for something you didn't do. Yeah, and I guess I guess that's the thing. It's, it's like, if that's something that is a constant experience, like something where the odds of that is high, I mean, I, I would be like, it's affecting your mental health. Get a note from your doctor and just be like, listen, you stop, put, stop making me do this. I know it's, like, a bit of an extreme thing, but, yeah. And it's a very easy thing to argue. It's a very thing to, easy thing to argue. 
doesn't have to be a full-blown meltdown. Like, <laughs> it's just, listen, this, this shit is, like, affecting my day-to-day -day life, and it, it's just, it's not what I signed up for. I, I really want to help you out, but, like, it seems that this is something that I'm having to do constantly, so if you want me to do it, uh, happy to discuss an arrangement where, you know, I get paid for it, or it's just like, I, I can't take on this responsibility because it's having an adverse effect on my mental health, and that's not what my job entailed, you know? And it's honestly fair enough, right? So either way, like you either they either agree to an arrangement where okay, or the hours that you do in something that effectively isn't your job, then you get paid differently. Or it's like, well, yeah, suck it up, you can't keep doing that. I mean, I would just wait for a time where, like, and I know this this kind of sucks, but wait for a time where, you know, you've had one of these situations where, and I imagine the way it happens is, you know, they get angry and then you have to escalate it to, like, management or something. The next time that happens, then, you know, after that calls over, have that discussion and be like, listen, I, I, have, I have something serious to discuss with, with, with you. This is what it is, right? And at least because that's fresh right there it's it's easy easier to go yeah listen this ain't what i signed up for but you know happy to discuss an arrangement that'll benefit both of us but i can't let this being a thing where you know i'm taking this mental burden and i get nothing for it especially if people are being abusive like that's just not on Anyway, that's just what I would do. So, I don't know. I, I, I hope I, I didn't pry too much there, but... Ugh, I just, I've had certain shit like that happen at um, early employers in my career, and yeah, like... I was taught to speak up on stuff like that, always. Like, my dad... Yeah. It was like, know your, know your rights from, like, an employment standpoint. And, you know, there's a difference between helping people that reciprocate, and there's a difference between, like, the kind of taking advantage of you, despite how nice they might be. It's like, if, you know, there's there's got to be reciprocation and, you know, appreciation of what you're doing, aside from a, a thank you. Especially if, like, you're having... To put some form of anguish on yourself, you know? But yeah, customer service sucks. <laughs> like, any, any form of customer service and you're dealing with people yelling at you, it's like, I, I've been there. And yeah, I mean, it's one of those things that what you're asking for isn't unreasonable. Like, you're not asking for a pay rise across the board. You're just saying, like, listen, in the times that you do need it, like, I'm happy to do it, but, you know, I'm sorry. Like, this, this shit is not what I signed up for, and people get abusive, and, you know, I'm doing way above my responsibility. So, you know, I think it's only fair that we have an agreement that benefits both of us. And it'll be either a thing where, you know, they'll agree to something, or they'll stop giving that responsibility to you. I mean, either way. 
Like, it's not an unreasonable request. And it still saves them in the long run. If there were anything else where you're, you're kind of, it's not really affecting your day to day. Like, let's say there was no abusive people and it was, you know, sunny and rainbows and everything. Yeah, wouldn't, I wouldn't rarely recommend something. It's just when, <sighs> sometimes someone being an asshole on the phone can really ruin your day, you know? And doing that shit out of the kindness of your own heart, it's amicable, but... Yeah, I certainly wouldn't be doing it for an extended amount of time. Or they can get someone else to help besides you. Exactly, like, the goal here is to get you in a position where you're either being, you know, paid for the extra help you're giving them, or in a scenario where that weight just isn't entirely on you, or on you at all. But yeah, it's all about timing. Like, typically I would wait and if it's something that's a common occurrence, I would wait until, you know, you have one of those events and then be like, all right, listen. Because then it's one of those things, if you do it when it hasn't happened yet, like, it's easy to shrug off. It's like, oh, you know, yeah, we'll talk about it. But if it's something where, you know, it's genuinely just someone's being a real asshole and it's an up upsetting thing, then it's very easy to, like, you know, talk about that and be like, this has happened, it, it's happened before, it's going to happen again, we need to discuss an arrangement. Yeah. The excuse you got were the other people don't want to do it or they aren't strong on the phones. Well, I mean, what you would say to that is like, well, then, again, that's one of those things where you that you're the you're the person that has the skill set and the qualifications but it's one of those things where like you know the your job title and your day-to-day -day responsibilities aren't that you're happy to take those on board to help but you know it needs to be an arrangement that's mutually beneficial it can't just be like a thing where oh you know thank you for your kindness and you know pat on the back right and then you're getting yelled at that's just not on like, surely they have to appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, like, show me the money. Show me the money! As old as a reference as that is. Even that movie's before my time, but still. They could, basically, any sort of reasoning they might give that's trying to flatter you and go oh yeah you're the only one that can do it and other people don't want to do it you just throw that back at them and you're like yep and happy to do it and it means that you know i'm the one that has this level of skill maturity and responsibility so if you want that you know to help you out we need an agreement that's mutual otherwise like your alternative is they do it and they don't do a good job Or the phone gets I mean don't yeah that's that's like the that's the pushing the button, you know, the the nuke button, right? That's sort of a last resort. But yeah, I mean you can you can go that way. It, it is valid. Especially if they're not listening. It, it is a valid way. It's just I would take the diplomatic approach where you take a moment when it's happened and then, you know, you 
you provide a bunch of reasoning and logic where it's like, if they say no, then, you know, they look like an arsehole. Can they see if it's unplugged? Uh, depends on the phone. I would imagine some of those VoIP phones are like smarter than your average phone. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that much about it, but I know that, um, ones that particularly have an internal dialing system, you can see when they're off the hook. Especially if someone's trying to dial it internally. Like, you know, someone's trying to call reception, for example, from another desk. Then they'll be like, weird, this is off the hook and not answering. So that's how they would find out. Again, don't quote me on this, but like, just this is just me thinking. <laughs> it's broken. Yeah, but I guess it shouldn't come to that. Like, if it comes to that, it's just one of those things where that's just an unreasonable thing. But, you know, it's gonna be one of two things. It's like, you're either gonna get what you want one way or another that's beneficial, whether that's through a way that's, uh, you know, you're getting more money or not doing that responsibility anymore, or you're gonna find out, hmm, maybe this place isn't as good as I thought it was, and there, if this is constantly happening. The other way you can do it is, you know, apply for other places, and then you just use that as leverage. It's like, well, you know... Either we come to an agreement on this, you know, we discussed this before, but, you know, I, I this is the offer that's on the table. You know, I do like it here, but I gotta look after my family and myself, and, you know, this is in my best interest. So, what are we going to do here? I feel like I'm running like a talk radio show here. <laughs> Just hand handing out the advice. You get advice, you get advice, you get advice, everyone gets advice. Just kidding. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's just yeah, this is just I blame my dad. Cause my, I guess my dad saw a bunch of shitty employers in his day, cause you know, just uh, refugee immigrant and then trying to get whatever work he could. Like I imagine he saw some really, really shitty people in his lifetime in terms of employers, and so he learnt his rights and learnt how to speak up. And I guess he just didn't want the same to happen to us. So when it comes to this shit, like I, I try to be as vocal as possible. But I know, obviously, it's not as simple as that. Like, sometimes it's, you know, everyone's situation is different, and you gotta... You gotta keep your ear on the ground, so to speak, and just feel it out. Know when the right moment to bring something like that up is. But yeah, I do hope it, uh, it does get better one way or another. That's not to say the situation is shit, but it's not ideal. Maybe they hired someone last week and you won't have to be on the phone soon. Well, hopefully. But I guess if you if you say, you know, they have a bad retention for uh, employees that have to answer the phone, then just keep it in your pocket. It's just... Yeah, 
It's an easy one to argue when, you know, the, the people that you have to deal with are abusive. It's, it's very easy to just say, you know, it's bad for your mental health and get a doctor to sign off on it because, yeah, it is. <laughs> like being, no one wants to be yelled at in, in that sort of manner, especially on a regular basis. And it does, like, no matter how much you try, that stuff does, you know, follow you home, so to speak. I mean, yeah, when I used to work at Kmart and just had a, a, just a dickhead customer, the rest of that day it would just be like, ugh. Just every now and then your mind just goes back to it like the person being a dickhead. But I guess in that case, like, it was my job to deal with that shit, so. And I was a teenager. <laughs> Not to say, you know, that, that validates that uh, that's what should have happened. It's just, yeah. I worked at Kmart. Yeah, I mean, I was a teenager. I was like, what? Second, third job? Something like that. Before I, I graduated university, that's where I worked. And a, uh, a fast food place. I was doing both jobs at the same time. Sometimes I would... <laughs> I'd go from my retail job, get home, go home, get changed, and then go to the fast food job. So, that was me as a teenager. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Why must you be like this? You worked at Marshalls for years. What's Marshalls? I feel like... Is that... I don't want to say it, but I feel like... Is it footwear? I don't know. What is Mar... I feel like I've heard that brand. It's familiar. It's either in music or footwear, or both. Maybe in Australia. But, I don't know. Let me look this up. Yeah, it is a footwear brand. But... It's closed shoes toys. Okay, yeah. That's what I, I had in my mind. But... Wasn't certain. It's... It's a retail outlet. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I... The Kmart days were funny. That's where the customer service voice was learned. I never got on. <laughs> I just talk. I just talk the way I did, cause I okay. I worked in the music, TV, and gaming section. So like, the stuff when I would get asked stuff, I had some genuine enthusiasm towards it, cause I'm a nerd, right? So it was. It, it's not that I had a customer service voice. It was just stuff that. I could talk about and have some form of enthusiasm and confidence in. 
But when people were being idiots, man, like sometimes I would call them out on their shit and we'd get into trouble for it. But of course I'd be able to defend myself and, you know, be like... Verbal abuse. I didn't do anything that, w that would constitute verbal abuse. I just said what they were doing, which was being abusive, is not on. And quite frankly, it's not in my job description to deal with that. Like, I'm being paid to be as helpful as I can to people, but if people are being abusive, I don't quite frankly have to deal with that. <laughs> it was like, I'm a teenager just trying to, trying to make ends meet at a Kmart, like, this is not my final stopping place. People are so mean at retail places. Yeah. I know. But I, I don't know where the delusion comes from where, particularly at a place like Kmart, it's not every retailer, but at a place like Kmart, there's a certain customer base that think that everyone that works there is an expert. It's like, dude, Kmart sells... I mean, if we go by categories, there's like at least 12 categories of of items there, right? And to expect a teenager to be an expert in automotive, gaming, clothing, photography, like, you know, just a fucking guru when it comes to anything general product related. Like, I'm sorry, that's just such a stupid expectation. If you're lucky, they're gonna be knowledgeable in something, but otherwise they're just trying to get a paycheck and make and meet. Like, surely at some point in your life, you had to do the same. Like, have some fucking empathy. And before Google, I mean, even now, it's just... When I first started, I used to have to do door shift there. And some people would get annoyed. If I didn't know where an item was, and I'm like, listen, to be honest, I mean, Kmart sells over a thousand items. The human brain can't keep track of the location of a thousand different things. Now, I'll try my best to help, but I'm being honest, I'm not sure. It'd be worse if I was to lie to you and point you in some direction. Just so you feel like you've been helped. Like, what do you want here? <laughs> yeah, like, do they want me to say, yeah, it's over there. Lie about it so I don't get abused? Like, or would I, would they rather me be honest and then you know, have some basic empathy for the teenager just trying to get a paycheck. That they might not know everything in the known universe that came out. <laughs> oh, what's that? You want expert level consultation on what TV to get from a teenager and not someone who, like, is an entertainment expert? Oh, you want that advice for free? What's that? You're angry that the teenager can't give you that service? I'm sorry. I guess I better reconsider my options at school and just quit my degree and just, you know, instead learn about television so I can appease you. <laughs> uh... I'm glad that I worked the retail and the fast food job. Because it gives you perspective and just grounding. Like, I never, ever will have that unrealistic expectation of people just trying to make ends meet, man. It's like, leave them alone. Yeah, by all means, try to ask them a question. But, like, if they don't know the answer, that's fucking fine. <laughs> I 
Thank you for the follow, Burnt Wobble. Oh, this shelf is so boring. You enjoy the chill breath of the wild vibes? Oh, thank you. I mean, also just talking about random stuff. As right now, uh, I'm kind of at a tedious point. Trying to find all the Koroks in this mountain area. It's just... Ah, nearly done. Once I get to the Gerudo Tower, then... There's gonna be a few shrines there, so that'll be fine. I got a hundred. Is it a hundred? Or have I found... No, a hundred... A hundred is incorrect. I need ninety-nine. You figure the majority of people in retail and fast food places are teenagers. Probably one of the first jobs they had. Yeah. No, I guess that's the thing. Like, that's the part that I just don't understand how people forget that. I mean, don't get me wrong. There, there, there are entitled people in the world that may have never had to have worked that kind of job. And might not have that grounding. But I feel like a population as a whole would remember would remember a time where they had to work like a job that you know they didn't care about really like let's face it no, teenagers that don't end up at Kmart like being a manager and climbing the ladder they don't give a crap about the place they work at like they just they're just there because they need money and you know some will do their best others won't but both are valid It's just such a bizarre expectation to have. You start working, you like putting chill streams in the background. All the folks have gotten used to the start of your work day. Yeah. Well, glad to uh, be a service. Hang on. No, 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 no. Go away. Thank you, Cold Resist. Why does this game insist on just harassing the player every 15 seconds? These enemies aren't challenging, they're just annoying. They... One of them dies in one hit and the other one dies in two hits. I mean, sometimes it does feel like I'm doing a podcast. Today's topic, shitty jobs and unrealistic expectations. People will treat fast food customer service jobs horribly. If it wasn't for your coworkers being fun during jobs like that, you wouldn't have enjoyed them. Yeah. I think I can definitely agree with that. The people that I worked with in the fast food job and in retail... If it weren't for those people, I just would not have stuck around. But that's what gets you through the day, ultimately. You went to Taco Bell last night and the soda machine was broken and the kid kept apologizing. You're like, it's okay, it's not your fault, you don't have to keep apologizing. Probably because that kid got yelled at, like... Yeah. Some dude was like, what do you mean? What do you mean you're out of soda? Isn't that what you got a soda machine for? I don't understand. You just refill it, right? Why didn't you refill the soda machine? I thought we were in America, huh? I can't get a soda? Like... <laughs> Sorry. I can't get a gallon... Of, uh, Baja Blast. <laughs> Poor kids, some people don't know when to suck it up and be patient. Yeah. I, w I wish Taco Bell in Australia had Baja Blast. I mean, I've talked about it before, you know. Taco Bell recently opened in Australia, and 
The Americans have tried to convince me to go there, and uh, there was some temptation, but the temptation ended when I looked at the menu and learned a lot of the stuff, you know, you talk about being, oh, you have to try that. It's just not part of our menu. Particularly the Baja Blast, That's that was the most intriguing one for me. And so that's just not on the Australian menu. So I was like, ah. So I'd just be going out of my way to get shitty Mexican food. You don't really like going to Taco Bell. It's not very good, aside from maybe one or two menu items. No, but it's one of those things is like, I think it's perfectly fine to every now and then just have a feeling like you want to just punish yourself and eat something that is effectively garbage food compared to, you know, cooking or going to like a better restaurant. Sometimes you just want that. Some people don't have that want, but other people do. And if it makes you happy, it's fine. Yeah, listen, like, you know, my heritage is Central American. Like, I I'm sure I could make a better taco. My parents would be like, why are, you why are you paying for pieces of cardboard with fake meat? Come home, I'll make you a real taco. I could make it myself. I could make a better one myself, 100%. But, you know, sometimes you just want to, just want to punish yourself. It's just in this case, without the Baja Blast, it's like, not a good sell. It's not really selling me on it anymore. Okay, uh... I can't, it's hard to tell elevation on this. There's... I feel like I've been okay with this. There's a spot here, but otherwise... Alright, let's just keep going. I'll drop further down. Well, there's less than 100 left, right? 8 or 1. Yeah, so 99. Which... Go away! Alright, it's gone. It's fine. I'm getting all the Korok seeds. Yeah, trying to, amongst other things. Like, uh... I'm completely na- I've been completely naked practically this whole time. With the mask on, and... I've done 107 of the shrines on three hearts, so... And, uh, I mean, combat experience, let's see. You'll note the Lionel bows and the, uh, the fancy shield. But this is what I used to do for Zelda 1 with my brother. Like, it was one of the few games we owned, so we used to just make up rules. And when I saw that Breath of the Wild was kind of be going to be more like Zelda 1. This is my second time playing it, but, you know, the first time I, I did this. And it was just, wanted to be taken back to that. That place in childhood where we just... Yep. Let's just make stuff that'll make our lives difficult. That's fun. And it's master mode as well, so yeah, that too. Uh, zero fast travel. What else? Because at the end of it, I just want to see one path. I'm sure there's other stuff I've forgotten, and just the stuff that has happened along the playthrough. I was worried that, oh, because this is my second time playing, it won't be as interesting, but I've had everything happen to me. Good. You're a casual Breath of the Wild player, but I guess you've done that with FPS games a few times. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> Go away! 
Didn't I just beat a bunch of these? <sighs> oh no, out of stamina, out of stamina. Okay, keep going. I'm not using the Korok Seeds either, so, you know, I have the same number of slots as the start of the game. I don't have stamina either. I'm just reliant on food. But yeah, I mean, to name a few highlights, I've been struck by lightning without weapons twice. Um, I somehow... A blood moon was happening and somehow I got it to stop happening and then 20 minutes later the game just corrupted and, uh... Blood moons were just happening back to back. So I couldn't take a step without a new blood moon happening, so that was fun. I've had Lionel charge me and then fly through the air. And still kill me. Like, I don't know, it was a weird hitbox thing. Not sure what happened, but hey. This is probably the most boring it's been in a long time, to be honest. It's just... Usually something happens, but today it's just been this mountain, just going along this whole perimeter and high ground, low ground, and just getting it done. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna drop here, go back along here, and then follow it up like this. And then I think... We can... Because there'll be a... There's a stable here. This is... Or here. One of these is a stable. Wait. This way. Oh yeah, and before this, I've been playing through all the Zelda games in chronological order of release, so... Before this, I had played almost all of them. There was one I didn't get to play just because it's hard to acquire a copy of that game. Legitimately. Every other game I, I played legit, so. But it wasn't one that was heavy on story anyway. It was the Four Swords GameCube one. Because that, you need the game, which is hard enough to acquire on the cheap, and then you need the adapter that lets you hook up a Game Boy Advance to it, because you need a Game Boy Advance to play it. I don't think I need Cold Resist anymore, I think we're done with Cold Resist. Uh, okay, so this is, a, this is a shrine, I'm gonna do it. So, swap to Cold Sword. Huh? Beyond Macho! Pump it up, brother! This is our ancestral training ground. Us three Goron Blood Brothers are in the midst of a contest of endurance. Feel the burn, brother! We're training to become strong and powerful Gorons. Right now, we're competing to beat the heat. So sweaty, brother. We Gorons. Oh, we're Gorons, sorry. But the heat is too much for us these days. It's too hot to handle in Goron City, so we came here to train ourselves. Hey, I have an idea. Come join us. Yeah. Come try the Contest of Endurance yourself, brother. Sure. Good answer. A guy like you has a burning passion in his belly. Inspiring, brother. You only played Phantom Hourglass and Skyward Sword before Breath of the Wild. Oh, okay. Phantom Hourglass was a good one. Um, Skyward Sword, back when it came out, I was just a bit fatigued with motion control, so I didn't play it back then, but I did play the HD remake. Um, and did the hero mode thing as well, so it was fun. 
Contest of Endurance. Here we go. There we go. It's not cheating if I just eat. I just ate nothing. Nothing to see here. <laughs> I read that as not yeet. Instead of not yet. Not yeet. No, please not yeet. Easy. <laughs> Not yeet. You're amazing. I never would have thought the three Goron Blood Brothers could lose to your brother. In fact, I'm granting you the highest honor, the chance to participate in the ultimate test of endurance. It's where our ancestors trained. It's considered the toughest test known to the Goron kind. See the ring behind me? The one you're surrounded in fire? Do you feel it in your gut? What a bad idea it is to go there. Your gut is dead on, brother. The special training area is even harder than the last ring. The contest won't challenge you with heat, but also with fire. If you lose, your focus, your body will catch fire. Be prepared for this, brother. It is said passing this test will reveal a shrine, or such. Okay. Is that heat-resistant gear you have there, brother? Okay, hang on. Do I need to... Hold on. Now, when they say gear, are they referring to the sword? Or are they referring to the buff? Let's see. It's the sword. Alright, so the sword is, is doing it. Let's see if they say it. Okay, hang on. Oh, it's just Flame God. I think we're okay. Seize the heat, brother. Burning soul. Hot like lava, brother. Real trial by father, a fire, brother. Gonna get burned out? No, just... There we go. Rah! So epic, brother. What a powerful display. What fire. That was something else, brother. Uh. Well, that's a shrine or some such. It's really appeared just like that. So the legend is true, brother. So you won the contest of ultimate endurance, little man. You're amazing. Oh, it was, it was a test of me. Ha ha ha. Julu, nah. Please already be worthy. I don't want to go through a shrine. Huh. 
Huh. Apparently, stepping on on fire was not uh, something worthy. It's another apparatus one, so. Ugh, it's, hang on. Whoops. That was an accident. Hmm. Let me do some recon. Okay, it's not worth it. <laughs> I was gonna do something dodgy, but it's not worth it. There's another area after this one. Right, I need to... Yeah, but that should be okay. Oh. I think I need to go stand on that. Let's see. Does it close? Yeah, it does. Okay, so... This is... Where is it? Just a sec. Because I, I want to do the same thing on this side. I want to bring this with me. No, stop. Nearly, 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 nearly. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully it'll fit through here. Let's see. Ah, oh, that's the disappointing revelation. Unless I can throw it over. Hang on. It might be too high. Yeah, it's too high. Oh well. I was gonna try and bring this over and then air balloon myself over. But you can't, so that's fine. In the time it takes me to figure out how to get this over, it's probably not worth it. But it would have been a clever ending. Anyway. It's fine. Okay, stop. Going to be lazy. Wait, why did that one go out? It shouldn't have.
Just as long as it remains open. Let me in. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. I probably could have done that without the fire arrows. Sucks that I couldn't get that thing over. Hundred and eight. Okay. It's been almost four hours, chat, so I'm gonna do a small two to five minute intermission. I just want to make some tea. I feel like some tea, so I'm gonna make some tea. But also, you know, stretch, because I've been sitting around for a while. So, get yourself a snack or something, and uh, I'll be back shortly, but I'll split the VOD if you're watching on YouTube later. So, this is the part where I say bye, YouTube. But thanks for tuning in, and uh, consider doing any of that fun algorithm stuff if you want to support what I'm doing. Alright, bye.